Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be going over how to fetch APIs using Python. Now, I've made a similar video, but that video was in React, but in this video, we will be fetching using Python. And also a disclaimer, if you're watching this video, I assume that you already know how APIs work, so I won't do an explanation on how they work since I've already done that in a previous video. If you'd like to know, you can check that out. Now, I don't want to waste your time, so let's hop into it. Okay, so first off, if you've already seen the React video and understood how to fetch an API in React, you should have no problem learning in Python. Okay, so first off, we need an API that we'll be fetching from. And just like in the React video, we will be fetching from the same API, which is this randomuser.me API. And we can go to this slash API route, and it will um, generate random user data. Now, I've opened up my editor and have it on the right with the JSON data on the left. In my editor, I've opened up a folder and created a Python file called api.py. And this is the file we'll be writing our code in. In the React tutorial, we fetch the API and display the results on a web page, but this time we're going to display the results in the terminal. All right, so first off, we're going to need to install requests using pip. If you don't know what requests is, requests is the library that we're going to use to fetch the API. So open up your terminal and then type in pip3 install requests if you're on Mac, and type in pip install requests if you're on Windows. So I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, I already have it installed, so it says requirement already satisfied. So I'm just going to clear my terminal for now. And once we've installed it, we can import it into our Python file. So we can do import requests, and this will import the request package into our app. So next, we're going to need a way to uh, connect to this API. So we're going to do response is equal to request.get https colon slash slash random user dot me slash API. And this will connect to the API and um, we'll store our response in this res response variable basically. And next we're going to want to know whether our app has connected to it or not. So we can just do print response.status underscore code. And what this will do is basically print out the status code and the status code will let us know whether our connection was successful or not. If it was successful, it will return 200 as the status code. So we can run this app using Python 3 API.py if you're on Mac and Python app.py if you're on Windows. So I'm just going to hit enter. And as you can see, it returned 200, meaning that um, our app is connected successfully to our API. So since our app has successfully connected to this API, we want to be able to print out the data that we receive from the API. And we're going to print that out in JSON. So we can um, just under this line, we can um, type in print response.json. And this will um, return the JSON data that's, re uh, that's um, returned on this page right here. So um, we can run our app again. So Python 3 API.py. And then uh, as you can see, it returned the JSON data as well as the uh, status code for the response. So our API is working, but this data that it's returning looks a bit messy. So what we can do is print out specific parts of the data. So for example, if we want to print out their gender, we will first need to access this results array. And then since the gender is located in the first index, we can access the first index. And once we access the first index, we can access the gender. So in order to print out the gender, I'm just going to create a gender variable and then have this equal to response.json. And then we're going to get the results array and then we're going to um, go into the first index and then once we're in the first index we can just access gender and then next we can just print out gender so print gender and then save the changes and then rerun the app so python3 api.py and as you can see at the bottom it has successfully returned the gender all right so now since we have their gender we can basically get anything else so for example let's say that we want to get their first name in order to get their first name, we're just going to have to access this um, name right here and then get this first name right there. So in order to do that, I'm just going to create a variable called first underscore name response dot JSON. It's going to be equal to results and then the first index and then we're getting the name and then we're getting the first name. And next, all we have to do is just do print first underscore name. And then if we rerun our app, as you can see, it printed out the gender and the first name. Now, if you want to get the last name, we can do pretty much the same thing, except we're just going to have to pass in last instead of first. So I'm just going to copy these two lines, paste them right below. And then I'm just going to rename my variable to last name and print last name. And then also at the end, I'm just going to put last instead of first. And then if we rerun our app, 
as you can see, it printed out the gender, first name, and last name. Now, since our code's basically working, um, we won't be needing this since um, these two lines were just for testing purposes to make sure that our app was connecting to the API. So I'm just going to remove these two lines. And instead of printing out the first and last name separately, we can print it out together. So to do that, I'm just going to remove this um, first name line. And then um, what we can do is delete that print statement and then just type in print. And then an F string um, first name and last name. So last name right there. And then if we rerun our app, it's just going to print out the gender and their full name right here. And also, instead of just printing out their um, name, we can also print out their title, so Mr. or Mrs. And to do that, what we can do is just create a title variable right here. And then we're just I'm just going to copy this line and then paste it there. And instead of getting first, we're just going to get the title. And then here, print um, title and then a dot and then first name, last name. So if we rerun our app, as you can see, it prints out the gender, their title, and then their uh, first and last name right there. Now, if we want to access the age, what we can do is get this DOB, the date of birth, and then access this age right here. So what I'm gonna do is create an age variable, and then uh, I'm just gonna copy this for now so that I don't have to retype it. So here, and then instead of getting the name, we're gonna get this date of birth, and then we're gonna get this age, which is right here. So to get the age, we're just going to put age over there and then do um, print um, f string age and age right there. So if we rerun the app, so python3 api.py, as you can see, it printed out the gender, the title, first name, last name, and their age. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that this helped you better understand APIs in Python, and I hope that this will become helpful in the future. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and remember to subscribe since more videos will be coming soon. And with that said, see you in the next.